what happened was last week, especially last Friday, uh, I saw a lot of one thing, actually two things. So I saw a lot of, it basically, so half my people are from outside the United States. And last Friday, all my consultations were from outside the United States. And in every instance, they had microbiome tests available, and I was viewing those. And in every case, their results were dramatically different, dramatically different than what they were verbally telling me were their problems. And I heard some very, very severe problems. And so if I was just looking at the microbiome results themselves, and I told them this, I said, you look to me like a perfectly healthy person. Um, but of course, you know, their life stories were very, very different. And they were suffering from, you know, severe issues and had some severe symptoms. And so what does this mean? This brings up a valuable point of the microbiome tests themselves. And probably more true for outside the United States than inside. But even then, for years and years, I've seen microbiome reports from people where just simply the report does not match what the person is telling me. And so obviously, I'm not going to discount what the person has to say. And so I basically just take the report and just throw it out the window. And so what I'm trying to say is, you know what, maybe it's best you don't waste your money on microbiome reports uh, because they're just so inconsistent. For example, a few years ago, I was present when a certain lab changes collection techniques. And so when it did this, the results changed instantly. There were significant differences in, in a whole host of bugs from report after report after report. And so that was just simply due to the collection and, and storage. The, the storage contains about this big. It has preservatives and so forth. And my suspicion was it was a change in pH or something to that effect between the time of collection and the time of the analysis. And uh, the results were just, I mean, striking between, you know, the one version versus version two. So um, my point is, is that I don't want you all to waste your money uh, on these reports where I don't know where things are going wrong, but what I do know is that what I'm seeing on the report is not jiving what people are telling me. And so what I've done over the years is a huge number of meta-analyses for a large, wide, wide array of conditions and diseases where I know, I already know what the average microbial fingerprint looks like for anxiety and depression or Crohn's or else colitis or dementia, what have you. So I've done the work for you. And these are from, these are from studies, these are from, you know, controlled studies with probably better collection techniques and storage techniques. And so the data there is it actually quite, quite consistent. So again, save your money. You don't have to do a microbiome report. If you have one and we have a consultation, you can send me the results. But honestly, the words you tell me, that's where the true value is. I'm just here to connect the dots and help you out.